Welcome to the Faster, Easier, Better show. This podcast is short, fun, and jam-packed with good ideas that you can start using right away. Welcome to another episode. I'm your co-host, Ellen, along with my co-host... Happy summer. (laughs) Okay, well, that was Lee, and today is the third episode of a three-part series where we look at songs. Oh, let's try that again. We look at nature songs and seasons. Today, we're looking at seasons, and obviously, Lee is thinking about summer. Well, I mean, when you're listening to this, uh, assuming we're a follower and you listen in order and you, as soon as they come out, you listen. Okay. All three of you, um, this is for you, <laughs> but everybody else in case this is out of order, we're recording this as the summer starts. And not only is summer one of the greatest seasons ever, but it's also significant because it's the halfway mark of the year. And so I always think of summer as a time to reflect what worked, what didn't work for the first six months of the year, and what do I need to get done for the second half, and putting it into the months that I need to get it done. Because as you look ahead, you think, well, I got six months. But really, you have five, maybe five and a quarter, because of the holiday season at the end of the year and how people kind of shut down you know, around Christmas time and don't come back till after the beginning of the year. So then you think, well, I've got these things I need to do. And then when you start plugging them into the months, you realize, woo, that's a lot. That's a lot left to do. (laughs) But if you put it in the best possible time to do it, you know, oh, the kids are going back to school. That frees up my time, more time during the day, during this, during the fall, whatever it is. But thinking of the year, not just in months, but in seasons, seasons and months combined, it really helps us to plan the rest of our year and work with the natural. We have longer days in the summer, shorter days in the winter. Our moods are different. We have different priorities. Just taking into account the seasons to try and make sure you finish the year strong. Wow, you're already talking about finishing the year. Heck yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's the best year ever. I mean, we're like we're like looking at Fourth of July, and Lee is already okay. What am I getting for Christmas? Hanukkah. Well, when COVID Something. was the last three years, <laughs> it's not hard to top that. That's true. That's true. But I I totally get that. Uh, I earlier this year, right around Memorial Day, a brewery put out this ninety nine things to do during the summer. Yeah, and and it's this great list of of things so that yeah, summer doesn't pass you by. And I need to because I have been bad about this, like do exactly what you're talking about. I mean, 99 things in in 3 months because it came out Memorial Day, it's supposed to go till Labor Day. That oh, that feels like, you know what? That seems like a lot of yeah, a lot of stuff, but you know what? If we did one thing every day, it's, oh no. You know, you fall behind super fast without looking ahead and going, you know what, this is the day we're, we're going to go and we're just going to go ride merry-go-rounds or something or go have ice cream, you know, some summer thing. But if you don't plan for it, it, it just gets away from you. So I do understand why you're already planning for New Year's Eve. Well, it's the old thing. You, you know, begin with the end in mind. I need yes. this done by this month. Now let's work backwards. Well, I can't mm-hmm. do it this month because I'm doing – this is summer. Well, this is fall. This is, this is the year. So, <laughs> but, you know, carving out time in the, within all the things you want and need to do during the rest of this year. I, I just feel like the, you know, this, like the summer gets away from you very easily if you don't make uh, – maybe – I call it my summer bucket list. Things, yeah. I, you know, I, I've always loved doing and some new ones that I want to try every summer. And then for the fall, you know, that's kind of when think, oh, I'm going to, maybe I'm going to take a class. Maybe I'm going to read a book or do some education kind of, and, and I want to uh-huh. get started on some things, you know, and fall is kind of the end of the, the fun, sort of, <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> summer's kind of coming to an end. And, right. And then once the holidays hit, it's a whole different vibe. So just thinking like the seasons of the year, and I mean, if we want to go really deep and get dark, the seasons of your life, where are you in that? I know, Ooh. too much, too soon. But that's, uh, yeah. <laughs> that's a whole other episode. Let's not go there now. But don't oh, let yeah. the year 
don't let the year, at least don't let the second year, I don't know, we can't change what happened in the first half, but yeah. don't let the second half of the year get away from you. Don't let summer get away from you. I mean, that's kind of is the seasons of life when you start thinking, well, the average man lives to be about 81, the average woman, I mean, woman lives to be 81, the average man 76. How many summers do I have left? I don't want to waste one of them. I don't want to waste a holiday season. I want all my work to be done so I can enjoy the holidays. You see what I'm saying? I Absolutely. Absolutely. When you put it that way. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm already in the uh, fall winter mode. Dark. (laughs) You are. (laughs) You are. So the seasons, you know, nature changes and, and leaves change, things like that. So use the seasons to keep you productive by planning things out. So, thank you for joining us for this three-part series. Be back with us again next week 